Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It is Mr. Shadjari here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, we are still looking at our, you know, grade 11 financial maths. You know, we are still uh, still trying to see in terms of how do we go about, you know, when solving such uh, questions. Now, firstly, this is going to be our Eastern Cape 2023, uh, you know, final exam paper, right? Now, so what is it that you are given in here? They are saying 8.1. They want you to calculate the effective interest rate per annum if an investment earns an interest rate of 9.3%, uh, you know, per annum compounded monthly, right? So whenever you are given such a question, then you are going to use this 1 plus I effective. That is going to be same as 1 plus I uh, nominal, right, over... Your M, this is going to be to the power of M. Are we fine, right? And then now, because you are looking for the I effective, right? So I effective, it's going to be called what? Then you take this one to be the side, right? So this is going to be same as 1 plus, what is the interest given here? This is 0, 0.093 divide by the compounding period, which is monthly, right? To the power of 12, subtract 1. Are we fine, right? So that's going to be the I effective. And then now the answer that you're going to get for your I effective is going to be same as 0, 0, I think this is 0, 0, 0,09707, right? And obviously, because we are looking uh for it in terms of percentage, it's going to be multiplied by 100, which is going to be same as 9,71%, right? So that's basically going to be the answer that you are going to have in here, right? Now, so let's move swiftly along. Let's look at our 8.2, right? Now, in our 8.2, right, what is that you are, uh, we are given here? They say now a school, right? So you are having a school that buys, uh, right, that buys a bus that costs around uh, 12000 in, uh what, or rather at the start of 2023. Now, the average uh, inflation oh, over the next five years is 6.91, right? Now, they say calculate the cost of replacing the bus at the end of five years, right? So, which means now, basically here, it's going to be inflation, which means this is going to be same as A, so cost to P into 1 plus I to the power of N. Remember, this is the formula that we also use for our inflation, right? So, now, they said the bus is currently costing 312, uh, or 312,000 uh, into 1 plus, what is the interest? This is 0, comma. 0691 over then this is going to be over what now this because uh now depreciation occurs you know annually which means this is same as over one which i can still leave it this way it's going to be one plus this is going to be uh to the uh power of five right and now when you plug this in your calculator right when you plug this into our calculator this is going to be what you are going to end up having uh or hundred and thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight comma what this is comma eight eight which is going to be then uh what which is going to be the accumulated amount altogether. So basically that's what you are going to have as far as this particular question it is concerned, right? Now so let's look at let's look at the next question now it's in terms of what is that you are going to have here, right? Let's just make up our space here so that we can then attempt our 8.3 right now in question 8.3 now they say luandi uh, made rather luandi made an in uh, an initial deposit of 22 or uh, 23000 rather into an account uh that paid an interest rate of 20 or uh, of 9.25% compounded quarterly now they say after 3 years since the start of his investment right he deposited 13000 and the what and the interest rate changed to 8.2 per annum uh you know compounded monthly right and they say exactly after 5 years or oh, exactly after 5 years his initial deposit Luandi withdrew 9000 right so now what is it that uh, we are looking for here, for here they say calculate the amount right so they want us to calculate the amount uh 
uh, calculates the total value of the investment in Luandi's account at the end of five years. Now let's understand this, right? I always like to use the number line whenever we are looking at such questions so that we can, you know, have an idea in terms of how we can maneuver here, right? So let's just, let me just draw my number line, right? Now, uh, so now from here, what is it then that you are having, for an example, right? What is it that you are having? So in this particular question, what is that they are saying? Now they are saying from here, Luani initially had what? Initially had uh, your, uh, this is uh, going to what? A initially had 23,000, right? This is the initial amount, right? Now, and then the interest rate that was earned here, it's 9.25%, right? Now, now they are saying after three years since the starting uh, of his investment, he deposit, uh, deposited 13,000, right? So which means if this is year one, this is year two, this is year three, then now there was a deposit of 13,000 into an account, right? Now, so what is it that they are looking for now? And they said the interest rate now from this particular year, right? From this year, it changed now, right? Uh, it changed uh, compoundedly uh, to what? To 8.2, which means now up until, remember we said this is year one, this is year two, this is year three, right? Which means for year four and also for year number five, right? The interest rate now that was uh, charged in there was 8 point what? Was 8.2%. Now, what is the question now, right? They say exactly after his initial deposit, Luandi uh, withdrew what? Withdrew hey, hey, the what? The 9,000, which means this is going to be after this, which means there was a 9,000 that was withdrawn, right? Uh, now, however, we don't want uh, to entertain that as yet. We just want to know in terms of what happened into these five years, right? <laughs> so, uh, now the easier thing that one can do is that, you know, I, I would literally just start by saying, now, the, I will calculate what is going to be the 23,000 uh, now and also the potential amount or the potential interest that it's going to earn, right? So, which means I'm going to say, what is the 23,000 uh, into 1 plus what is the interest that is going to be earned? They said it's 0 0.0925. Now, uh, what is the interest? Uh, what was uh, going to be the way of paying this? They say it was compounded quarterly, which means it's going to be 4 then this is going to be what? The first three years, rather, it's going to be what? Five multiplied by what? This is going to be five multiply or four multiply by four multiply by three, right? So we are using for the first three years, right? Which is going to be this one, right? From here to here. And then now we want to find out what is going to be this particular amount. Oh, it's okay. And then after that, right? So if we plug into our calculator, let's just plug this in our calculator. So the amount of money that you are going to accumulate for the first three years, it is going to be same as 30,000, right? This is 30,260,2. This is 22808, uh, right? Now this is going to be for the first three years, right? Then now what else then now that we are going to do? Then we are going to say plus 13,000, right? plus 13,000, and then after that, then we are going to uh, look at what now? After the 13,000, then we are going to look at in terms of what is going to be the total amount. This is going to be uh, 43,000. This is same as 43,000. 260,22. Uh, this is 22808. Okay. Then now we are going to say now from this particular amount, now it's also going to mature for the last two years, right? So, which means we are going to take the same amount of money using the compound formula, which is going to be the 43,000. So, which means we are going to say, look, now our 43,000 is going to give us what? Now, this is going to be the 43,260,22808 into bracket. This is going to be 1 plus. What is the interest that is given in there now? Remember, we are given the new interest, which is 8.2, which is 0 0.082 over what? This is monthly for what? This is for two years times 12, right? And then now, what is it that you are going to end up having here? So you are going to end up having 51,000, right? This is going to be 51,530, uh, right? 530 
comma what comma one eight, which is going to be the amount that you are going to what this is the amount that you are going to have in this question. Once again, hopefully now uh we get this one right. Now let's look at your eight point three now in terms of what does this question require right? Eight point three point two rather right. Now they say at the end of eight years after the initial deposit, one D uh decide to withdraw right and use the money calculate the annual interest rate of the investment uh in the what in the final third year of his uh of his final uh balance or rather of his uh or rather in the final year if his final balance was sixty four thousand right and now the interest was compounded monthly right now I want us to look at this one right so now basically what they want us to do now so they are saying after year five to year eight, this money matured to 64,000, right? Now they want us to uh, calculate in terms of now, what was the interest rate that made this particular amount to mature into that rate? Are we fine, right? Or rather to mature into that particular figure. Now, what is it that you're going to have now from here? So we are going to say, all right, now, from the fifth year, how much am I having and how much am I having in the last year, right? So this is same as A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the power of N, right? Now, the accumulated value is 64,487,24. Now, the principal amount, it's the money after the fifth year, right? And the money after the fifth year, it is 51,000. It's 51,000, right? It's 51,530, comma, 18 into brackets. Now, what is that you're going to have here? Now, this is going to be 1 plus, what is the interest given? We are not sure. That's what we are looking for. But we know that the interest is going to be end monthly. And then this is going to be what? This is going to be the same as, now the last year were three, right? So this is going to be three multiplied by 12. Are we are we together? Then now that's going to be that. Now the first thing that you are then going to do here, you are going to divide. Are we fine, right? So then here we are going to start by uh, dividing. And how are we then going to divide this? Let's see. So you are going to divide by the 51,000, right? So which means now here you are going to have 64, 64, uh, 4, 8, 7, right? This is 487,24. Then this is divided by what? This is divided by 51,530,18 is equal to. So then you are left with 1 plus i over 12 to the power of what? To the power of 36. Then obviously you are going to look for the root of 36, right? You are going to look for the root of 36. Now this is us looking for the root of 36, right? Root of 36. So that these 36 and these 36 cancel each other, right? And after that, then you are going to come back. We are left with I over 12, which means then you're going to take the one in the side, right? So which means now from here, if I can make up my space here, right? So which means now what is that I'm going to have for an example? So I, I can rewrite this as this is 64,487,24 divide by 51,530 comma 18 right comma 18 this is to the power of 36 then now uh what is it then that you're going to have now from here then this is going to be subtract 1 is equals to i over this is i over 12 right and since this is i over 12 then you are going to multiply by 12 on this side right so you are going to just multiply everything here. When you're done, you multiply everything here by 12, right? And then you multiply everything here by 12 so that the 12 can uh, cancel each other, right? So which means now the I that you are going to end up having, it's going to be same as 0, 0.075. Then you multiply it by 100, which is the interest that is received there. It's 7, what? It's 7,5%, right? So this is going to be 7,5%, which is going to be received in here. Out again. Now, I'm hoping that all of this is making sense and you can be in a position to answer all these related questions. Thank you very much for your cooperation.